Hey, Pretty Girl Club. So, I uh, just wanted to share something real quick uh, that I've noticed. I don't know if y'all noticed this in the exoticals. As far as exoticals, lighter skinned women, like, it seems like the mo- the rudest people I've ever in- came by have came from unambiguous dark skinned black women. Like, some of the rudest encounters, even in, like, places like customer service, like, one day I remember, um, I had to deliver, it was like a year ago, I had worked for Uber Eats, and I had an order for a woman who was delivering a baby at a hospital, right? And so, when I get to the hospital, I'm lost, I don't know where to go, so I go to, like, the, um, what's the name, the, um, the receptionist desk or whatever and the lady at the receptionist desk she looked about my age uh, for real but she was unambiguous darker skin and she gave me the nastiest attitude from the jump like I thought that was extremely rude I just asked her like do you know where room such and such is and she just gave me the rudest like look and then she was just like go over there it's over there like she was so rude about it i was just like damn two people in the um waiting room looked at her too like what was that for but then (laughs) i saw her back out of the hospital leaving the hospital after i dropped the food off and she's being nice to other people so i just found it odd like why was she giving me such weird energy and then it happened to me again uh, at the VA because y'all know I'm a veteran. So so I had to draw blood. So I had to go to the lab after my appointment. So I went downstairs and I got to the receptionist desk to sign in so I can wait to get my blood drawn. And it was an unambiguous black woman at the desk. And she was so rude to me, like, she barely she almost like dismissed me completely like she didn't even see me but she was it was like the rudest thing in the world like and i've only had rude encounters like this from unambiguous black women like i I, there's countless situations but but these two like really stuck out because their energy was just so heavy some of the most meanest people i know are unambiguous black women like my mom for example, I just cut her out of my life as of three days ago, officially, and no more. <laughs> and so, she, it seems like I just trigger her just for existing. It's weird. And I know she has a thing against lighter skinned women because she's accidentally slipped that out in one of her rants or whatever, that she doesn't like light skinned women. Because my dad used to cheat on her with light skinned women. and his first baby mama was light-skinned and i'm you know she treats people who are light-skinned bad and i've noticed that growing up so it's like you you even had beef with my dad's sister where she was also light-skinned um these are very light-skinned people by the way even in school like i had a friend in the ninth grade She was unambiguous, and I was the new girl at this school. This was the same school I told y'all that story time about when, (laughs) like, I'm the new girl, and that school just went crazy on Valentine's Day, giving me mad gifts. If y'all seen that story time, y'all know, but that's the same school. So I was new and everything, and this girl clicked. She clinged to me. And she was, you know, she was cool at first. You know, I thought, this is my friend. Like, I have a friend finally. But she was just trying to plot on stealing the guy I was with and ended up doing that. And then taunting, well, not what's the word? Not, not the word taunting about it in front of me that she's sleeping with him. And um, the, she just wanted the guy that I was dating at the time. Like, yeah, I had a boyfriend even though I was new, like back then I was a pick me and I had a lot of stuff going on where I had attached my, I, it's a coping mechanism I think when I, back then for me to always be in a relationship. So even when I was like a week new, I 
ended up dating somebody that I liked. And that girl, my so-called friend, ended up sleeping with him behind my back. And she ended up telling me that they sleeping together and knows we're dating. And she put him on three-way to prove that they're sleeping together. And she had me on the phone silent so I could hear them talking. And that's how I kind of found out about that. Like, but it's like she, she knew I was dating him. I just feel like she, I don't know. This is, it was just extremely weird. I have the most weirdest encounters with darker skin, unambiguous black women. Even my best friends growing up, when I think about it, have all been exoticals. Like people that I really considered close to me. Like when I was in school, I always naturally gravitated towards exoticals. Because whenever I would try to be for an unambiguous black woman, there was always something. There was always an issue or... I had another friend when I was in the army, she was unambiguous. And she always used to ask to do my hair and stuff. She always used to ask me to do, cause she knew how to do hair. But when she would do my hair, she would always like over compliment me. And she would say I'm light skinned and just randomly like in conversations that, you know, when she's referring to me, like, what was this, what was she saying? She was like, you light skin something, something. It was just something like she would randomly bring up my skin tone when it was unnecessary in conversation. I mean, she was ended up being cool, but it's just, she would always complain about how she looked she you know how she didn't feel attractive herself and so you know the friendships that I've had with unambiguous people haven't been the greatest and then random encounters with them have not been that great I hear I hear all the time darker skinned women talk about how they they go through darkism but lighter skinned women go through what lightism is that something we can make up a word? Lightism? Because anytime I've ever encountered an unambiguous black woman, especially if she was from the hood, they always gave me a really hard time. I do not like going to the hood to this day if I don't have to. Because the women, they really plot to like, and they really like don't like you off jump. Like it's weird. They, they sizing you up. They trying to compete with you secretly. They trying to make sure your boy, their boyfriends aren't looking at me by standing in the middle of their them or the guy that they like so they can't see me. That's happened to me before. I've heard y'all talk about that too, exoticals, where there will be somebody blocking the guy that wants to look at you's view of seeing you. That's happened to me before with unambiguous people. And it's just like, I don't ever have these issues with with lighter skinned women, even like mixed or lighter skinned women. I do not have those issues. It's always genuine love. But with unambiguous people, there's always this weird, eerie feeling that it's, it gets very uncomfortable. like. And it's not all, it's not all, but it's definitely been a majority. The only one darker skinned girl I can say, and she had pretty privilege, but she definitely benefited from featurism, which is something else we could talk about in another video. But she didn't have those issues. It seems like when it's only unambiguous black women gave me the most issues in my life you know as a woman like my line sisters and because I went to a HBCU and I joined a sorority and my line sisters were all exoticals and we all get along I mean but you know the one person I don't get along with is the person that was um because y'all know we go through a hazing process when we're joining sororities and stuff and so we had um, the one chick that was in charge of us, she was unambiguous and she just gave us hell. <laughs> so I don't ever go through negative things with lighter skinned women. And I can honestly say, I can't think of not one story 
that sticks out like it does with unambiguous women. I definitely don't. I don't go through this with them, with us. I don't go through this with light-skinned women, exoticals. I don't. That's all I really wanted to say, speak about. Because it seems to be like a theme, like I've noticed. It's only in darker skin. Unambiguous black women who are darker skin who gave me the most hell in my life. The most issues. What are you guys' experiences? Are Do y'all know what I'm saying? Do y'all feel me? Let me know in the comment section. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening.